Okay. So face on down line, you actually look really good over a golf ball. You're certainly biased into a draw. And what I mean by that is you can when you look at this, you can kind of see how if I make a hip box from hip to hip and straight down, see how that box really includes your left foot, not your right foot? Okay, so that is, you know, that's you being positioned, you know, forward on top of your feet, which I'm a fan of if you want to hit a draw. If you don't want to hit a draw, we got to be careful about how much we do that. Okay. Now, let's take a look and see what I was talking about when you saw this on three dimensions here when you look at this. See how quickly your hands kind of hinge, right? So there's a lot of, you know, manual hinging going on in your early takeaway, right? And you're very, you're still very left bias. So what happens when I'm talking about that is, let me just explain and how we can soften that up and get your path less extreme. So you sit tight. I'm going to get up and describe it. So you set into the golf ball. And you, you certainly look like, you look good. You look like somebody that is uh, um, a, what I would prefer to see when they're a slicer. Okay, you're not a slicer. You have too much inside out path with a strong face. You don't hit it high enough, the ball hooks. Fair. Right, so you have this kind of like, you know, you're leaning left, you're stacked in here. I mean, that's, you know, you're, you know, you're really biased left, right? And then in your backswing, you've got this gray coil that's very, very, you know, centered left. Okay, again, that's fine. But think about this. If I took my body and I stood over here to this ball position, the only way I could hit this ball now is with, to, I, I guess I could try to swing over the top, but I'd, I'd harpoon myself, okay? This club would be traveling down and out before it got to some kind of relationship with the target line. It'd be too excessive inside out, right? Okay, so when you settle into a golf ball, we can manage we can manage the club's path a couple of ways. One, the ball can be a, a hint more forward than you have it, right? The ball can be a, a tick more forward, and the pelvis can be a bit more literally balanced between our feet, right? Because if I hit a golf ball with my feet over here, the only thing I can do now to hit this is to have a path that's going left, which is a way I could hit a fade, all right? You get my point? Too far ball location forward is, is a fade biased event. Too far ball location backward is a draw biased event. Now what happens with you, you look pretty good, but then everything is also a little pressed left. You've got this great coil, but the face is a little strong, right? Okay, so. So things I'm looking for for you, okay? We're going to set you up just a hint more neutral. I absolutely don't care if you have a super strong grip. I could fade it all day from here, right? But I, what I don't want to see is something that hinges immediately from the hands. You get my point? Okay. So strong grip, fantastic. You keep your strong grip, but let's, instead of this palm going to the ground, this palm pointing at the ground, right? The matchup for this is neutralize the stance a little bit. Here's your strong grip. Guess where my palm is facing now? That's a little bit more skyward. You get my point? All right? And so your sensations of hitting this is going to feel like, come on, um, grab your club. Come on in here. Okay. George Knudsen used to joke. He'd say, ball location, left nut. Okay, so just left to center. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So your grip's fantastic, right? Now you hold on to the club for a second. Now I'm going to help you into a backswing. Ready? There's your palm. Let's take this back feeling a little bit more palm up, right? And it's not something that's going to be immediately hinged this way. In fact, the takeaway, watch how we're going to take this club away. And I'll walk you through this routine. You stay there for a second. I won't swing. I won't kill you. What do you notice about my feet? Yeah, what are my feet doing? There's a, there's a, yeah, there's a readiness and athleticism back and forth, back and forth. You with me? Good. So nobody's static over a golf ball where we pick it up with the hands. There's a sense of getting over a golf ball with a sense of pressure back, back and forth, like a shortstop ready, like a linebacker ready, like a tennis player waiting on a serve. The same kind of readiness in the feet of any good athlete. Now, instead of picking this club up, taking a strong grip, shutting the face down, 
what I want you to do is let's feel these heel taps, light knee flexes, okay, corresponding with these heel taps. Then the takeaway, my friend, I want to feel like this right palm of yours could catch a raindrop here in the backswing. You with me? So it's heel taps, watch my right foot, catch raindrops, okay? The face is going to change a ton. You get my point? And I need it to, right? So we're going to do a couple things. We're going to neutralize your setup position a bit so you're not so pressed forward, right? Because you're not trying to learn how to draw. You, you, you're too extreme. Take your pelvis, kind of gently put it between your feet, right? Not so pressy forward, all right? And then the backswing, let's hit or miss one, but let's feel like we feel, go ahead and set up to the ball. Readiness in the feet, fantastic. Clubs a sliver off the ground, because if it's off the ground, pretty good chance, and this is off the ground, by the way, that millimeter's off the ground. Now in the backswing, there we go. Long right arm with a palm skyward, good. Go ahead and hit one or miss one for me. Go for it. Good. Okay. Let's take a quick look at that. Now, I know that's not at speed for you yet. Come on, machine. There we go. Here, take a gander at these two. So the darker one, that when I turn the machine on, so on the right is the first swing in the room, okay? So this is your kind of hingy, okay, palms kind of facing, you know, this direction, away from you. Face is pointed, you know, very extreme and down, okay? Here I'm trying to get, there we go. Right arm staying a lot longer, you see what I mean? Not near as hinged downward, okay, excellent, okay, excellent. Okay, th yeah, this is way better. This is way better. You get my point? Okay. You know, so it's like you're, you're, you're in very, the bell curve of what you do is actually really good. You just got a little couple funky things going on that make the face a little too, little too strong for what your tendencies are, okay? And a lot of it's just setup stuff. You know, so, yeah, so there's the golf ball. And, and you can even bump this golf ball even a bit more forward, to, to be fair. Right, and I know you're kind of thinking of your hands here. But if I put you at the top of the takeaway, P2, we call it, when the club's parallel for the first time, okay? And then I do it on this one, right, when the club's parallel for the first time. Right, so this club head is easily, you know, think about it, relative to the back wall there. You see what I mean? Like... Yeah, it's it's significantly different. So it's way wider, isn't it? So on the right screen, that's you know that's a, a foot wider. Okay. And yeah. So it's and it's all really in the right arm. Like that right arm, that right arm's job is to bend. So you have what you bend, you can extend, right? So you can have power there. But I, you just have too much of a handsy early move. That um, you know, because this is quite good. Now here again, you gotta you know you move like a dude who's 19, never mind 60 or whatever you are, okay? So, but see your bias of being too far, a little bit ahead of things, right? So that's going to kick the path too much inside out because honestly, if I put a line up here, I'd pretty much see, you know, you're ahead of things. Here, it's a little better, right? But I don't want you getting way, way, way ahead of it. It's really not much better, actually. Okay, so when this happens, guess what you're going to do? You're going to fight to get flippy. Because when somebody is that far ahead of something, it, it's, it would be equitable to this, my friend. Okay, This is what is equitable to. Watch your position there. Okay, It's equitable to me playing a golf ball like this. right? Because if I drew a line up from where the ball is right there, do you see where that is? Okay, There's no way that I can't have too much rightward path here especially with your good looking structure right there because that so what we have to learn how to do is we're setting you up a hint more neutral okay and we're going to learn how to take this sort of strongish grip not not miserable right and have a little bit more width you with me a little bit more palm up bias and then we got to stay a little bit more behind what we're hitting to make the golf ball's relationship 
to club path make more sense? Okay, so this is this is a you know a, a teeny weeny version of, of club path, right? If I get way 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 ahead of it, like you are on that right screen, there's way too much inside out. If we neutralize things now, we we want the low point of the swing to be a, a sliver in, ahead of the golf ball, but we don't want it to be extreme, right? And then we don't want to be that wide open face person that has to back out of it and back up to try to square the face easier, which you aren't. You're, you're a strong face. Okay, so you see how you got a little out of balance? Okay, so come on up here. All right, so get your pelvis a little bit more between your feet, less forward. Okay, good. Clubs off the ground. There's, feel like you can just not really rest it there. Okay, now I'm gonna, you're gonna do me a favor and hit, miss one for me or hit one for me, but the feel is gonna be, go ahead and set up to the ball club off the ground, right? You can, don't bump into my club hit, this grip here on your through swing, if you will. Right, go ahead and miss one or hit one for me. Huh. A wide right arm, face feels skyward, palm feels skyward. Good. Good, well I guarantee it didn't go left. Okay, it may, it, may, it may have drew some. You get my point? Well, I'm sure it stayed, you know, I had a stick up on your ear. But let me, um, you can do this on your own pretty easy. So even, like on the right, you look fantastic. I mean, that's a gorgeous looking setup position with a fractionally stronger grip than normal, but nothing that's, nothing that's crazy, okay? I'm trying to get you to feel, again, nice pivot. I'm trying to get you to feel, yeah, that's way better, right? So that, that relationship of path is going to be way better than somebody that gets way, way ahead of it, okay? Because when you get way ahead of it, it does two things. It takes the, takes the, it puts an extreme inside-out relationship potential on the golf ball, and then it it tells your hands to not hit it way out to the right and rolls your hands too much. See see the, so there's a reaction there that unfortunately we don't want to deal with, right? So there's a you know wider. It could be you know could be wider. That club face is very manageable, very manageable. Okay. And there's somebody that's going to hit a nice shot that doesn't, you know, that's got some nice trajectory and starting to the right and it's going to draw a little bit. Okay, so look at the difference here. Here's your first one. So goals here, subtly softer setup as far as not so left. Okay. Um, you can... Good. Your first swing here, you see how much hand-inspired behavior this is to P2? Now you, you know, and then... We're working to feel wider, and that looks much better, doesn't it? Look at the difference in the face, right? So this face for that strong grip is a nice matchup. This face for that strong grip is a bit shut, okay? Now as you go back, the face is nice. Watch the difference, right? See, see how different the face is right there, right? Totally. So that, then you kind of, you're steep and shut. Here, now your face is in a nice place that has a way better ability to have a rate of rotation that your brain will let you make sense. And I'm keeping that grip ahead of you so you don't get forward to avoid trying to avoid missing left. So your slide left is so you can block out the left, but you're just exacerbating the path. Does that make sense? I want to actually teach you to fade it again, right, by staying back and having a bit more neutral leftward path. Wouldn't that be neat? Okay, good. So let's, well, I know, because there's no way, like, you know, with the way this club lays down and shallows really late, you know, like the, that, that there's no way you can have excessive path here. And then you're ahead of things, right? So there's a very inside out delivery. So any kind of square face, the ball's going to go low left, right? So this face is just so much better path. And we're just going to work on, you know, kind of teaching you how to fade it again by being a little softer with setup and not getting way ahead of it. Make sense? Good.